Good morning, everybody. It is currently 5 a.m. on May 1st in the public server, and we have probably got a lot to do. Let's look at the horses here. It looks like they have at least been fed and watered. I doubt they've been ridden lately, so we'll have to check in on that. Moving down this way, all of our equipment has been organized and put away, and it looks like they're actually more or less keeping to that more or less okay you know what everything's organized i really do appreciate that guys and with that oh wait oh someone tarped it okay i thought they poured lime or something over, over there so with all of that out of the way let's go ahead and get to work first thing we're gonna check this morning are the cows so if we take a look here we see that their tmr is pretty well off uh their straws are right their water is pretty well off i think we will just give them a little bit more straw and call it good for the time being. Checking on the chickens. It looks like the chickens are all good to go. And also checking on the sheep. The sheep are good to go as well. But all in all, guys, the farm is looking pretty good. You guys have been keeping on top of it. I really do appreciate it. So I think the first thing that we're going to go ahead and take care of is the straw. So let's go ahead. There you are. Get the uh, feed mixer. And we don't have any straw of our own just yet. So we are going to drive this bad boy down to the shop by a about three three bales of straw fill it up and uh, see how much that gives us while we're showing up to the store here i do have a couple questions to ask you guys would you guys uh, be interested in us adding the dlcs to the public server i would personally and really love to have those dlcs i know a lot of people would but they also would alienate some people which i don't want to do so I don't really know the answer. I don't. Maybe the answer is to have a a public server with DLCs and a public server without DLCs. You guys got to let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Do we add DLCs? Do we not add DLCs? I mean, I'm fine not adding them. I would just personally would really enjoy using uh, Kubota and Vermeer, two of my favorite, you know, branded equipment. So. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. We got our bales of straw in the mixer. We're going to head back to the cattle and uh, and give them their bedding. All right, Moo Moos, you watch your heads now. I'm going to give you straw, all right? Let's just go in here and watch the straw. Make sure it's good. Oh, check out the horses as well. Forget that we have those sometimes. Um, they're fed, they're watered, so they're fine. The straw is full, and we still got a little straw left over, so we're going to... Well... We'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Go ahead and park this thing back in its little shed here. That'll do. Now, we might as well go and ride some horses here real quick. All right, Chester, you and me, we're going to not run into a fence, buddy. Come on. We're going to jump the fence. Yeah, now there we go. By the way, for those of you who want to play on the public server, the server name is Pickle Jar Public. The password is Elm Creek with a capital E. That's the name of the base game map. And of course, if you want to play on my farm on the public server, of course, there's the public farm as well. But you can play on my farm right here if you go to Patreon and you join the Patreon. For as low as $1 a month, you can get access to this farm. And that is just to kind of uh, ensure that, you know, we don't get trolled too much all right we're done riding the horses they're all taken care of now we are gonna get to doing some slurry all right so i think we should definitely fertilize one but we're not gonna do that yet we're gonna go up and finish fertilizing 13 as i can see there's a large chunk that has not been touched oh and we're already hitting things with this stupid spreader dude i'm going to find us one that doesn't freaking steer go ahead and drop it down and just start kind of going forward at a slight angle here that should be applying but it i mean it it is it is not changing any values on our uh, our nitrogen map though so that's interesting of course planted up here i believe are soybeans so it's not like we need a bunch of nitrogen in here i just find it really interesting that that's not updating okay well i guess we don't have to play around with a thing that i hate so i'm not gonna complain about that all right well i'll tell you what if we don't need to use the slurry spreader today then how about we uh we check out mowing this grass field now buddy i'm gonna need you to run faster than that so 
<laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to accidentally run you over, okay? But you're a good boy, and I love you. All right, just going to go ahead and uh, park this underneath the tree. Why not? And now we should be able to go find our mower. But here's a problem. We seem to be missing a tractor. Well, no big deal either way. We should be able to just use this little New Holland. Which, by the way, I think this little New Holland is big enough to pick up a square bale, don't you? I mean, sure, maybe it's not, but something tells me that I think it would pick up a bale just fine. Okay, we've got our mower. You know what? I think this little area right here ought to be grass. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Drop down the mower and we'll just get to mowing. So what we need to decide is, do we turn any of this into hay? Do we, how much do we turn into silage? How much do we keep as grass? Now, personally, I think we could probably get a little bit more use out of this since we're not going to use any silage. We could get more use out of this for hay. So I think that's what we'll turn this field into, get some more hay bales. Um, but then, you know, we'll, we'll decide how that goes moving forward. All right, there we go. Headland passes are done. So now I'm going to line myself in what I believe to be roughly the middle, headed straight-ish across the field. And we'll do a cut just straight down like this. And then uh, we'll get our long down and backs done here. Now, you guys are about to hear a rant. The part that I hate, I absolutely hate this in farm sim 22 in any farm sim you have to tether to turn it into hay i have put up thousands of acres of hay in my life i have never ever ever in my life known a single person to use a tether to make hay never not around here at least not where i live i despise the tether is completely ridiculous. It's unnecessary time spent in the field. It's unnecessary fuel expenses. Like, it's unnecessary emissions. Everything. It's unnecessary. But with that, I'm going to I'm gonna hop off my soapbox. All right? I know there's probably some people in the comments right now. I was like, um, actually, we use the tether on our farm, and it's fantastic. Gives us a better product. And Okay, bro. That's cool. I just want the option to not use it. That's all I'm asking. I'm not saying you can't use it yourself. I just want to not use it. That's all. All right, but we are just about done mowing this field. And, okay, I'm not off the soapbox yet. One of the reasons why I hate the tether is because you strategically mow. You design your field when you mow for when you rake. It makes windrowing easier. You do your headland passes depending on the width of your rake. And then you do your down and backs. And it all comes together really nice, really clean. And when you tether, guess what it does? It takes your guidelines, right? These current windrows. And it just throws them everywhere. And it makes them not exist anymore. And now you got to make them out of scratch. You got to eyeball it. And it sucks. It's the worst. I hate the freaking tether, dude. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I'm done. I'm done. I, I won't talk about it anymore, at least for the next minute and a half, okay? But with that, we are done mowing our field here. So I'm going to fold it up and we're gonna go park it now guess what we have to grab okay it okay that's not me griping that's not i'm just saying we gotta grab it that was the next step <sighs> okay here we go my second favorite thing to do in farm sim what's your first thing to do in farm sim that you enjoy ah complain go ahead and turn on this absolutely disgusting piece of equipment and oh look at that now we have hay yay i'm so glad that i'm forced to do it this way if i want hay Oh, oh, thank you so much for spreading my hay everywhere and making it a pain to windrow again. I don't know if it's been a minute and a half, but I'm back on my soapbox. I'm sorry. All right, I'm going to continue making a mess of our field here. Once I'm done making a mess of it, I will catch back in with you guys. And just like then, we are done tedding this field. We can now go put this dreaded piece of equipment away, grab the windrower, get this windrowed and we may also get this bailed today or i might leave that up to somebody else we'll see go ahead turn it on start driving forward and we'll get all this windrowed back up into a uh, a single windrow maybe and here we are having a width issue once again because of the way the tattered is designed and it throws the freaking hay all over the place and it takes away your guidelines from your previous windrows there's a reason that you windrow when you mow and it takes away that whole i'm done i'm done i won't complain any i will i will 
I can't even lie to you guys. We're going to keep complaining. You know what? It's going to be a little unorthodox, but I'm going to windrow the windrow we just windrowed again. That way I clean up this excess along its, like right along its side. So it's going to make this first outer windrow a little larger than it needs to be. But it's going to clean this up and it's going to make it less wide, which is going to be easier to bail. And uh, it's going to allow us to then come through and windrow the rest more properly. So a little strange of a method, but it's what we have to do because of the tether. I, I'm done. I know, I know, I know, I know. He's complaining about the tether again. All right, y'all. And just like that, we are done windrowing the field. We've got a perfect windrowed field ready to be bailed. So let's go put this thing away. You know what? Let's, get, let's go ahead and grab the baler and just go ahead and get this going. All right. So we have got that put away. Now, I don't know if the John Deere is big enough to pull the baler. We're going to find out. We're going to be doing bale sizes. Let's see. 240 is the biggest we can go. Yep. That's what we're going to do. Go ahead and start unfolding the baler here. Get it ready to roll. Line up. Drop the pickup header. Turn on the baler. It looks like it's running. And uh, I'm hoping that we have hay in here. So, yep, we do. Cool. Well, we're making some pretty good progress here. We've just got, what, three, four more rows to do after this one. And uh, we've got this whole thing bailed. Don't know how many bales we have yet. We got one, two, three, four, maybe five, um, five bales on the ground yet. Four or five. And you know what? That's, that's something. It'll hold us off for like a little bit, but it's barely anything. Like we need way more hay than this. All right. Just like that, we are done here. Let's go ahead and see. Can I? So we got one and two bales coming off the tra the, uh, the baler there. One in the chamber is about half, half ready to go, but... Unfortunately, it's going to have to stay there. And the final count of bales looks like we got seven bales out of the deal. So that's, uh, you know, it's okay. But with that, guys, we are going to be done with this video. I hope you all enjoyed our time here on the public farm today. If you want to play on the public farm, the name of the server is Pickle Jar Public, and the password is Elm Creek with a capital E. Until next time, I'll see you all later.